What is up, YouTube? We are the one sub bits. We are. Um, today we're gonna be playing something. Um, um, remember how we did those like Planeswalker battle round things where we were just playing the pre made Planeswalker decks? Um, somebody told me that you could make an insanely good deck by taking the Gideon and the uh, uh, Liliana one and making it into one deck. So I said, I'll do that, and I'll see how it works, and I'll maybe do that in a future video. But then I said to him, why don't we have fun, why don't we take uh, the secondary colors out of these decks, swap them with each other, and play a game that way. And now we're going to try that out. Yep, and, you know, should be interesting. Um, so yeah, Slesnia versus Rakdos. Let's see who will win. Yeah, um, I'll let you figure out who we are. I rolled an 11. I rolled a 20. You get the pick. Um, winners will go first, so... Nope, okay. okay. <laughs> I will play uh, Selesnya Guildgate and pass turns. Um, we did swap out the Foul Orchards and uh, Stone Quarries for Guildgates and Cinder Barons because... The, the same thing. They are. Um, I will tap two for Chandler Initiate. He enters the battlefield with three negative one 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 powders on him. Mm -hmm. And I will pass thanks to you. Okay. Passing terms. Okay. So is everyone doing today? Oh, poop nuggets. Yay! Technical difficulty! Um, <laughs> what else is new with this channel? <laughs> I'm gonna tap two and a green for Gift of Paradise. I'm gonna put it on the Swesnia Guildgate. Mm -hmm. I gain three life for playing that, and whenever that is tapped, I get two in of any color of my choosing. Additional. And then I will swing for one. I'll take it. Uh, I swing for zero. Because I wasn't smart. Okay. Play black. I'll kill that. How? Put a minus one minus one for a creature. When Festering Mummy dies. Oh, it dies. Oh, okay. Never mind. I pass turns. He doesn't read his cards. I don't. Stop being. Stop. Stop playing magic with people in the game. Especially when he sees that card used weekly. You play that. You play the Mummy, don't you? I play that. Oh. Um, I hope I drew a card. Oh well. I think I did. I'll play another Selesnya Guildgate. Um. And then I'll tap the first one for three mana. Mm -hmm. I guess it'll all be white, because why not? And then I will tap two more. For Gideon's Resolve, when Gideon's Resolve enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a Gideon card. Okay. And then I will tap him, move a 1 1 onto him. And I'm assuming you're going to put the same one on the kind of back one. Yeah. My turn? Yeah. Oh boy. Don't have too many options here. I do have that option. Okay. Your turn. Oh, nice. Stays in the battlefield. I hate shuffling without sleeves. Don't mind this part of the video where I'm going. This is painful for me. Smashing your good, beautiful cards. I know. Jeez, don't rush the game too much. This is how he wins people. 
by rushing his opponents. And then they make bad moves and then he laughs at them because he controlled them by that. That's how Professor Jack is in real life. Um. I'm going to tap the six for Gideon. Gideon. Then I'm going to use a zero to turn him into a six six. Okay. He's a six six because all my creatures gain a plus one plus one with a resolve. I'm and, down to 14. Yep. And I use Gideon's zero ability. Tap two. The Tata Mummy and Bastards. Tap four for giant spider. <laughs> then I'm gonna tap another four for another giant spider. And then I'm gonna use a zero to call five five. Okay. Or a six six. I'll block. Take two. Yeah. I literally can't do anything else. This is probably the best move I can make. Okay. That does, does help. I literally have nothing in hand that's useful. Um, I will play a forest and go in for eight, uh, nine. Uh, okay. Uh, my turn? Yep. Yeah, sorry guys, this was a quick game. We've actually played two right before this, and they both lasted a decent amount of time. I just kind of fell right into the right mana ramp I needed. Pass turns. Game. And game. Um, since that was a short video, why don't we give you a second one just to show you, because we've actually had funner games in there. Yeah. He just... He didn't draw into anything needed to keep the game going. I got the mana ramp early, and I was able to just pull out Gideon too I quick. Have no mana ramp. I didn't know I had until this game. Black red is very good for early game assault, but this green white usually he's usually been controlling me the first four or five turns, and then after that, we've been able to have a good back and forth. Miss my sleeves. So do I. Sleeves, why? I know this is gonna sound stupid, but I feel like if I had sleeves, I could shuffle way better and actually get a better randomization of cards. Oh, me too. Um, the professor's actually said sleeves will help you shuffle your cards better. I fully agree. Because I went to a beginner event yesterday at my local game store. And, you know, they gave everyone the starter decks, and it was just too awkward, so I just sat out and gave the sleeve my deck. And then the rest of the night I was much more confident with my deck, and had better draws and <laughs> plays. Okay, well, 
he lost, so he gets to choose. I will be on the play. Go ahead. Um, I'll keep my hand, everybody. Um, okay, well, draws. Calls this. You are trained. Tap two. Down middle. Fast turns. Um, your turn. Swing one. Okay, my turn. Yep. So the first two games we actually played were pretty good. Like, I actually had fun, you know, I lost both. But they were like a turn 12, 15 win. Well, that's the beginning of the so that makes sense. I will play Meow Meow Cat. Graceful cat and um, your turn. I literally chose Selesny because I think there was one cat in the stack. And tap two, potato mummy. Swing one. I block. Okay, pass turns. What's the challenge for today? Play a game of magic. Okay. With somebody who challenges you. Don't play against someone you always beat. Play against someone that gives you a good challenge. Um, I will play Companion of the Trials, and I'm a swing at for three. I block, take two. Okay, my turn. Yep. Tap three. Swing one. Um, I'll block. Play Tog Hop Elite. Mm -hmm. And I will um pass turns. Okay. Yeah, you're flying, right? No. Didn't realize. I'm gonna swim one. I will block. Okay. Pass and turns. Yeah, the reason I'm not attacking is because I have 32 creatures and he has 2 twos. So it'll almost be a dumb trade to do. Hmm. I'm gonna tap 3 for hmm. Cartouche of Spring. Um. And he has where this my 3 twos. I has a 3-3 three, three cat with trample. Um, when he attacks, he will gain 4-4. Four, four. And then... Uh... I'll wait for him to do this, or... Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tap two for Mighty Leap. He's gonna gain another two two until end of turn and fly. And I'm gonna swing for ten fly. Well, I can't do anything about that. So I'll take that 10. And that's just how you smash face. My turn? Yeah. I'm also going to come back to bite me and take out 7 from the problem. I did take you 7. And then I lose next turn. Um, no, because I had to exert him while I did that. Uh -huh. I forget to have a punch in that. No luck. 
I didn't exert him because I would have swung at you for 13 if I exerted. So that's game. Um, no, because the 2-2 two -two was temporary. Oh, okay. Um... Let's see, it could... Potentially... It's... Six... I'm gonna play that, they all gain plus one, plus one... Four... Six, seven, eight, and I'll exert to hit you for the eleven. I'm dead. And, yeah! Um... These two decks actually weren't bad when we played Tessim earlier. I don't know why this is not running anymore. That's because we're filming. It comes down to the shuffle, too. It might be the filming curse where things don't go how you want it. Yeah. But it was, honestly... It was kind of fun. If you have both these decks and you've just been playing them as is... They're fun. This, this was kind of fun to do. Um... If you do it, you have 63 cards of red-black, so you get to pull up three cards of the red-black. And then you have to add like, five cards to the green-white. And I literally just took the booster packs that this came with, put in all the white and green cards I had, and said, oh, it works. It does work. I did not want to throw in a rare or uncommon to give it an uh, unfair advantage, because I know they put about the same amount of uncommons in these, and rares when they make them. Mm -hmm. Now our next video coming out guys, well probably not next, but soon come out will be the, the dual deck of Nissa vs. Nicholas. I know this one's kind of old, but we got it from Lou. It was a good deal. Yeah, 13 bucks from Lou. Shout out to Lou. Yeah. Lou's always great to us. I wish Lou was my daddy. He always helps me out like a wise daddy. And then he watched this video. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't be jealous, AJ. <laughs> we love you guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Yeah.